Meghan Markle and Prince Harry all smiles after surprise meeting with NATO chiefs. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are back hand in hand at the Invictus Games on Thursday, after a meeting with NATO chiefs. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry were all smiles in the sunshine as they arrived hand in hand at the Merkur Spiel Arena in Dusseldorf on Thursday afternoon. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. The pair smiled and waved for the cameras, flanked by NATO bosses and their families, after it was revealed the Sussexes had been included in a meeting of the chiefs. Harry also took part in a mental health discussion with BetterUp, the US-based startup for which he is chief impact officer. Meghan looked cheek in a bronze silk shirt and camel trousers, while Harry stepped out in a navy suit and open-necked white shirt. Both of them wore dark sunglasses as they stepped out in the autumn sunshine. Later, they headed to watch more of the competitions on the sixth day of the Invictus Games and were swamped by fans as they headed to their seats to watch Nigeria play Ukraine in a wheelchair volleyball match. Harry started the day with a private engagement, taking part in a private discussion with BetterUp, the career and life coaching startup, while Meghan relaxed in their suite at their glitzy hotel, the Hyatt. She then attended a private meeting with NATO chiefs and their families. The couple continued their spree of PDAs as they posed for photos with NATO representatives outside. Harry and Meghan, who changed into a comfier all-white outfit, then headed inside to watch Nigeria v Ukraine in the seated volleyball. Wearing a Ralph Lauren jumper vest and matching jeans, Meghan was enthusiastically cheering on Nigeria, after Harry mentioned in his speech at the opening of the event on Saturday that she would be supporting them after the Duchess discovered she is of Nigerian descent. He told the packed arena, Now I'm not saying we play favorites in our home, but since my wife discovered that she is of Nigerian descent, it's likely to get a little bit more competitive this year. During an episode of her Spotify podcast Archetypes last year, Meghan revealed that her mixed-race heritage includes being 43% Nigerian. She told Nigerian-American actor Zim that she only discovered her roots after having her genealogy tested a couple of years ago. Yesterday, the Sussexes met members of the 10-person Nigerian contingent who presented the couple with a plaque from Christopher Gwabin Musa, Nigeria's chief of defense. It came after they rocked up to watch several events at the 2023 Invictus Games, and they sat close together and joined in a Mexican wave as they watched a wheelchair basketball match. They posed for numerous selfies with fans and jokes as they joined opposing teams in a children's relay race. The Aussie team kept up their tradition of gifting Harry a pair of budgie smugglers and presented the grinning prince with a pair of tiny trunks printed with colorful flags.